Burton city leaders weighing in on a new ordinance tonight looking to crack down on vicious dogs. Good evening everyone, I'm Bill Harris and we thank you for joining us this Monday night. The new ordinance would allow Burton police to seize a vicious dog if the dog's owner doesn't comply with a new set of strict regulations. City leaders saying it's needed after a string of recent dog attacks. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in the newsroom with our top story tonight. Walter, what's the penalty if the dog owners don't comply? Well, Bill, this ordinance I have right here, it makes it very clear if a dog is deemed dangerous after attacking a person or another animal, the dog could be put down. City officials say they've seen a number of dog attacks in recent months and they're just trying to protect neighbors. The way this ordinance works is any dog in Burton that attacks another person or animal will be deemed vicious. Owners of the dog will then be required to keep the dog indoors. If it does go outside, it must be on a leash or, and muzzle. Owners will also be required to place beware of dog signs on their property. If the dog then attacks a second time, Burden Police would then immediately seize the dog and take it to the Genesee County Animal Control Center. A complaint would be filed in court and the dog's owner would then have to explain to a judge why the dog should not be put down. The director of the Genesee County Humane Society says she's glad the ordinance doesn't single out any specific breed. She's urging neighbors to be more mindful of their pets. If a dog is trained right and spent time with and well socialized, um, chances are really good they'll grow up to be good canine citizens. I hate to see any breed penalized just because it's a certain breed. Um, and really, all people who own dogs should be responsible for their dog regardless of what kind of dog it is. This ordinance still needs a full vote from council. City council members meeting at this hour to determine if the proposed ordinance will be brought to a vote and public comment. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Bill. Walter, thank you.